Top 6 Foods That Can Cause Belly Fat Many of us struggle with stubborn belly fat and it can be frustrating when we don't see results despite our efforts. But did you know that some of the foods we eat on a regular basis may be contributing to our belly fat? In this video, we will go over the top 6 foods to watch out for if you want to reduce belly fat. First on our list is processed and fried foods, which are high in unhealthy fats and calories. Next, we will cover sugary drinks, which are loaded with added sugars that can spike insulin levels and contribute to belly fat. We'll also discuss how too much alcohol can be a major contributor to belly fat, as well as how refined grains and excess salt intake can also have negative effects on our midsection. Don't worry, though. We won't leave you hanging without solutions. We'll provide you with healthy alternatives to help you cut down on belly fat and achieve your weight loss goals. So sit back, relax, and let us guide you through the top 6 foods to avoid if you want to lose belly fat. If you find this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness. And don't forget to leave a comment below to let us know what you think or to share your own experiences with belly fat. Number 1. Trans Fats some of the most dangerous foods that cause a buildup of belly fat are hydrogenated oils like soybean oil, corn, canola, cotton seeds, sunflower oils and margarine. These cheap and inexpensive fats are often used to cook fast foods, take out meals and they also in 80% of the packaged foods found in supermarkets, just check the labels and you'll see them. Despite being called vegetable oils, they are actually made from highly processed grains which involves using solvents and chemicals that are toxic to your liver cells. These oils are also rich in omega-6 fatty acids which raises inflammation throughout your body causing a buildup of fat in your liver which then spills over into your belly. So you want to start avoiding these junk foods and cook your own healthy meals at home. I recommend using cold-pressed healthy oil alternatives like avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, and grass-fed butter. Number 2. Grains and Flour Starchy foods like bread, cereal, biscuits, pasta, crackers, pastries and donuts are all loaded with refined carbohydrates. As these are very high on the glycemic index, they quickly turn into sugar called glucose in your blood. As you now have too much sugar floating around any extra sugar is converted into fat and stored in your fat cells. And as visceral fat beneath your belly, whole grains also contain phytic acid which can block your body's ability to absorb minerals like zinc, magnesium and calcium. So, if you want to lose your belly fat, I recommend following a low-carb diet plan such as keto as this will help to lower the blood sugars so that you can burn through your fat stores for energy. Number 3. Fructose Fructose is a type of sugar found in fruit. It's 50% of table sugar and it's also part of agave nectar and high fructose corn syrup. The problem is that your cells do not use fructose as energy like they would regular glucose. The fructose is directly broken down in your liver. And as 80% of packaged foods contain high fructose corn syrup, this overwhelms your liver and causes a buildup of visceral fat, liver damage and insulin resistance. Fructose actually has the same damaging effect on your liver as alcohol does as it's metabolized. If you start checking labels, you'll find it in soda drinks, fruit juices, jams, syrups, sweets, and all different kinds of junk foods. High fructose corn syrup is also made from genetically modified corn, which is sprayed with chemical herbicides. So it also has harmful chemicals that further damage your liver, which leads to belly fat. You definitely want to avoid these foods and switch to snacks that contain healthy sweeteners and alternatives like erythritol, stevia and monk fruit. If you're finding this information helpful so far, please tap the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health and nutrition tips. Number 4. SOY Protein Soy protein isolates are some of the worst food additives that you could possibly put into your body. These are highly processed, inexpensive plant proteins that are extracted from GMO soybeans grown with heavy amounts of glyphosate, a dangerous herbicide that's toxic for your liver. Soy protein isolates are used to make so-called protein bars, diet shakes, ready meals, fake vegetarian meat patties. And it's even in some baby milk formulas. Soy is actually one of the leading causes of hormonal imbalances in both women and men causing inflammation in the liver and weight gain around the viscera. 
Avoid these highly processed proteins and stick with whole food proteins instead from meats, eggs, fish, shellfish or if you're a vegan, you can use water lentils. Number 5 Soda Drinks I already mentioned that soda drinks are sweetened with both glucose and fructose which turns into fat around your stomach. But even the diet drinks cause you to accumulate fat indirectly as they contain artificial sweeteners like asper and sucrose. These synthetic sweeteners can cross the blood-brain barrier, blocking certain neurotransmitters that tell you when you're full. This gives you cravings and makes you feel extremely hungry, making you more likely to snack or purchase more junk foods. In fact, the artificial sweeteners have been shown to kill friendly microbes that live in your gut. This can cause liver damage, weight gain, and also depression and anxiety. So, cut out the soda drinks and switch to some healthy alternatives. I personally recommend taking some carbonated water and adding a few mashed berries and a little stevia to make a healthy soda drink without the sugar or the chemicals. Number 6 Alcohol If you drink alcoholic drinks on a regular basis, you're far more likely to develop both visceral and subcutaneous fat around your belly. You see alcohol puts a very heavy burden on your liver as it's a solvent. The liver has to break it down into small particles in order to detoxify it over time. This strain damages the hepatocytes, which are your liver cells. This causes inflammation and lowers your body's ability to metabolize fat and sugar properly. This causes fatty liver disease and fat then starts to be up inside the organ until there's no longer any space. So it starts spilling over into spaces between your organs, pushing your belly outward. Alcohol also has to be burnt off before the liver can burn other fuels. So, if you're drinking alcohol, eating fructose sugar and grains, it reaches a point where it can no longer process all this fuel and it starts leaking fluid that makes your belly even bigger. If you do have a protruding belly, you definitely want to clean up your diet as this massively raises the risk of diabetes, heart attacks and liver cancer later in your life. How Stress Causes Belly Fat Now that you're aware of the foods that you should be avoiding, if you want to burn or prevent belly fat, it's important to understand how stress can also trigger the accumulation of belly fat. You see when you're anxious, stressed or fearful, your glands release a hormone called cortisol. This is also known as the stress hormone. This hormone quickly starts turning proteins in your body into sugar so that you can have a quick burst of energy to run away or fight in an emergency situation. Historically, this would have been a fear response to escaping a predator like a lion or a tiger, for example. However, the body isn't designed to experience long-term mental stress that we create for ourselves from relationships, life situations and financial concerns. For example, over time, if you stay stressed and you keep producing more and more cortisol, your body continues to raise the sugar in your blood. This then triggers another hormone called insulin which goes in to remove the excess sugar and turns it into body fat, which tends to accumulate around your stomach. So, if you're eating well and you're still not losing weight, you'll need to find ways to turn off this cortisol and reduce the stressful situations in your life. I personally recommend walking in nature for at least 45 minutes each day with lots of fresh air and sunshine. The oxygen in the space will help to calm down your nervous system and turn off this fight or flight response that's making you gain weight. Studies also show that listening to slow and calm music that has around 60 beats per minute has a relaxing effect on the body helping to ease stress and lower your cortisol. I also recommend using guided meditations which are freely available online. I'll drop a link below the video to a meditation that I created to help treat a relaxation. Thank you for watching our video on the 6 foods that cause belly fat. We hope you found this information helpful in your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Remember, making small changes in your diet can make a big difference in reducing belly fat and improving overall health. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We appreciate your support and feedback, and we look forward to hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness.